everyone, welcome to Arcade Adventures with me, Richie. And me, Kaylee. And today we're here at... Blackpool Pleasure Beach once again for the third time. Yeah, third this visit. Year. Third visit to Blackpool Pleasure Beach so far this year. This time, we've got late night riding. And, and Halloween. There's, there's some Halloween around. <laughs> so we'll show you some of the various different displays for the Halloween that they've got on. Um, there's no sort of... Um, scare attractions or anything like that. Um, they did have one last year but that hasn't returned for this year due to social distancing yeah. and things like that. But, but it, it just feels so good to be back and know that we might get a ride and icon and maybe the big one later on tonight. Yeah. Because it's a bit windy right now and uh, maybe seven o'clock-ish. Yeah, it's a bit, of a, a bit of a windy and rainy day today, so we'll Hopefully. just have to see how it goes and see if the big one does open later on. Hopefully, because like you saw in our video from last time, um, we weren't able to get on that. So hopefully we'll get on it again this time. But um, yeah, we'll take you guys around the park and see what is on offer. various different uh, coffins and pumpkins are laid around the park. Oh, that's a spooky atmosphere. Spooky. Yeah. There's also a candle as a head there, which is uh, just weird. I'm just going to back up a bit. This guy looks like he's lost his head. Interesting scarecrow here. Lots of detail in his face. Looks like his skin's been pulled apart, held in place by that frame. Like Doctor Who, or the skin snatcher that all the powers. Yeah, just next to Alice in Wonderland, on this bit of grass, there's plenty of tombstones. Oh, looks like someone's trying to dig their way out. Dad, Dad, Frankenstein is scared. There's another fella down here climbing out of his grave. Oh, there's a tree right there. <laughs> oh, his eyes hanging out. Bet that's uncomfortable. Love the detail. There's some more uh, scary scarecrows. Plenty of scarecrows along here as well. Just in front of Walsh and Gry. Very quiet at the park at the moment. Good for rides. Egg in his head. Like, it looks like quail eggs. <laughs> so I'm so glad that. Well, plenty of decorations here at uh, Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Really good. Yeah. Let's go get ourselves on Icon. I uh, thought I'd show you guys the locker man down here. He's now wearing a face covering. Available in the shop. Let's be branded face masks. Very good. <laughs> yep, so we've got an icon where there's currently a zero minute wait time. Back here inside the station, so keep maintaining the distance and the social distance matters. So the weather took a bit of a turn for the worse, but we did manage to get a couple of rides on Icon. We then went on Revolution, and we've also just had a couple of rides on the Avalanche. So yeah, really good. Unfortunately, the weather's not the best, so we'll just have to see how the rest of the day goes. Yeah. What was your favourite ride so far, Kelly? Um, Icon and Revolution. Icon and Revolution. But that last ride that we just had on the Avalanche, with it being yeah. wet and rainy, that was so fast. It went so fast. And um, you should have seen our photo. We were literally just like, oh, we're just down and covering our face. <laughs> yeah, masks on, hoods down, and yeah, couldn't even see where we were going. Great it fun. was good. <laughs> it's yeah. like a dark ride, like you can't, like, 
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you have to birds chase from Paw Patrol. Good for the kids to go and see. Yeah, so we're going to brew the weather and have a ride on the Nickelodeon Street. I'm done with the rain. It's going to be a wet one. Yay! Hey again everyone, as you can probably tell it is now starting to get a bit darker so it's all good fun. The rain's eased off a lot. Um, I'm not going to lie, we did uh, sneak out the park early and went back to the hotel for a bit just because yeah. we were like soaked through. Down. But guess what, the big one is open. Yes, isn't that right? We've already been on it. Yeah, so we went on the big one when we came back in the park because that's reopened. Um, yeah, so we'll get a good ride on there when it gets a bit darker now. Um, been on loads of stuff, haven't we, Kayleigh? Yeah, yeah, we've been on Icon loads of times. Um, what else have we been on? Uh, we've been on Revolution, um, um, Infusion. Uh, we just went on the Grand National. I think we were going about to go on Big Dipper. Yeah, we'll have a look over towards Big Dipper as well. Um, a lot of these woodies are running really well, with the track being wet and everything. No rattles or anything. Nice and smooth, super yeah, fast. Most of the time. Yeah. And uh, the second time we went on, uh, oh, please, I haven't forgot the name. It's uh, Nick Streak. No, it's not. It's not a roller coaster. Not a roller coaster. It is a roller coaster, but not a roller coaster. Are you it's on like, about Avalanche? Yes, Avalanche. There it is. The second time we went on that, it was so speedy and slippery. Yeah. So, so burning, like pouring down. That was in the morning. -ish. Yeah. So we'll show you guys around some of the park. All the lights are on on the ride and stuff now. So yeah, really good fun. It's a good atmosphere. It's it's quiet, but it's yeah. it's good. Yeah, really good. Also, for good for room, the weather. Yeah, and also for our room, we need to show you when we get back. I don't know if the lights are still be on, I don't know, but we have a very good view. And the only reason we noticed the big one was open because when we look through our window, we have a view of the park and we're not even in the park hotel. Yeah, so we'll stick some uh, footage in of the view from our room. So yeah, really good, really good day, um, despite the weather. But yeah, park's open till 10, rides till 9, so got another good couple of hours to get some rides in the dark. And There's Katie waving to some people on the big one. They were waving at me! Hey! <laughs> thank you! So yeah, we'll show you guys what some of the rides look like at night time. Ghost train. All lit up, nice and spooky.
on Infusion. The Parks Performer SLC. Judy came along with a little bike and was dancing with the crowd. He um, the kills with people, kicking and clawing. Yeah, kicking and clawing at people and then uh, giving a little photo opportunity at the end. So I think up next we'll have a look at the Walsh and Gromit, Thrillomatic, a riveting ride. Cheese. We'll go somewhere where there's cheese. 60 seconds to get off.
spooky decorations. Come over here at the Kiss Me Quick Shop. Looking very spooky in there. Various different cobwebs and things over the merchandise. As well as all these decals on the glass. I also bought something. From very spooky. Yeah, and over this side, there's various different paper pumpkins. Mm -hmm. And also some icon stuff. Icon baubles. Yeah, got Christmas baubles there. And various different ones. So there's icon, there's the Be Happy Face. We've got the little what's teddy that, bear. What's that white one? Can we see what it is? It's a. Uh, oh, it just says Blackpool Pleasure Beach on it. Also got a little zoom icon. in there. BPB. A baby say. Oh, that bear's all caught up in the web. Oh dear. I thought the spider doesn't eat it. And the spider is nowhere to be seen, you're sick. And one of the good things about the show over here is they actually sell genuine ride parts. Mm -hmm. If they need repairing or anything. So, yeah. Yeah, so there's old wheels here. Not quite sure what that one's off. What's this one? It's a Dodrum's metal motor wheel. Mm -hmm. Use on the dodgems. It looks like it. What's big? What's big? Uh, it, oh, it could be off the horses. No, they don't have wheels. The big wheel. That. Don't know where it's off. There's all sorts of different ones. Could there be it off was the, uh, ride? the top there. Big dipper upstock wheel. Ooh, maybe this could be from an old ride, which is no longer at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. There's more on the website as well. Um, mm. I don't know if you've seen Katie, but you can actually get. An old carriage from the monorail that they used to have here. What? Yeah. There used to be a monorail here, and you can actually get one of the. A well, full size? A full size carriage. There's two, there's two of them on the website. You have to have a look. What? Yeah, they're not cheap though. But yeah, they're on there. I don't know what you do with them. <laughs> it's not like you can build a, a tram. No, can't be in a monorail. You can maybe put them in the garden, use it as uh, a, a, seat, a, seat, a seating area or... A little tree maybe put, some... well, put it in a tree. Maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe put... say, very... <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe put some plants in there or something. Yeah. <laughs> a garden house? I don't know. Imagine all the window. I guess we'll find out what you do when we win the lottery. No, we're not using that. We're going to go on to roller coasters and win the lottery. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go on roller coasters instead of buying yes. old bits of roller coaster. But yeah. Wow, that's so cool. Hey everyone, so uh, yeah, this is going to be the end of the vlog. It took a bit of a turn for the worse, the weather. It just started tanking it down after we were just outside the Kisby Quick Shop, so yeah. we made a run for it back to the hotel. Um, so yeah, what do you think of today, Katie? What do you think of the night uh, rides? I thought it was really good, and since it's, it's only like once a year, it got happens night rides, so it was really, really good. I love the lights. It's not quite once a year. It's just the occasional weekend um, throughout the season to have late night riding, especially with it being yeah. sort of uh, you know the back end of the year now, so it gets darker earlier and things. So yeah, really good. Um, bit of a shame about the weather, but it didn't stop us having fun. Yeah. Uh, so just if anything, it probably made the day slightly better in the fact that there was hardly any queues. A lot of the stuff was uh, pretty much walk on. Yeah, maybe you have to wait 10, not even 20 minutes, maybe 15 minutes at the most. Yeah, I think it was about 15 minutes. Okay, I'm not that up. <laughs> yeah, there's a bright light behind Katie. Um, yeah, it was maybe about 15 minute wait, it was the longest wait. Um, towards the end of the night, a lot of the stuff was just uh, walk on. So, what have you got there, Katie? What are you wanted to show us that you got from the yes, just gift shop? Yes, trying to cover this light up. The camera is right. Right pull, pull, the pull, pull the camera across. That's a good idea. There we go. <laughs> right, so I got this icon mood ring. If it will focus. I don't think it will. But it says Steady. icon. Yeah, so I don't know if you guys can see that. It's probably going to focus on us rather than the ring. But it says icon in it. And yeah. it's about to get very foggy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Lens keeps fogging up because um, obviously it was yeah. wet outside and now it's uh, really warm in this room. Yeah. But uh, yeah, the mood ring um, branded with icons. So yeah, really good. But before we do this, I want to see what your mood is, Dad. So just give it a nice rub. Yes. Yeah, so are, you so... like, are you like a darkish blue? Or a light yep. blue? It's gone blue. What shade of blue? It's a dark blue. It's starting to go purple. Okay, so a dark purple. 
Yeah. Like either calm or very happy. Either calm or very happy. It's about right. Mm -hmm. Had a good day today, and we're now back inside where it's warm. So nothing to complain about there. Let's so, see what I am first. <laughs> you just speak there. Yeah. So while you're doing that, Katie, what was your favourite ride today in the dark? Um, in the dark, it will probably be. Oh, that's hard. I'll have a think about it. You go. <laughs> okay. Um, mine was Icon. It, it's always going to be Icon when we're at Blackpool College Beach. Um, yeah, we managed to get a good couple of rides on the big one, which was good in the dark, uh, especially with the Illuminations, which we'll put some... Well, we'll get some footage of the Blackpool Illuminations and we'll put another video up of some of that. Um, we'll have a look around tomorrow, depending on the weather. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But yeah, it was, um, it was good on the big one. Been able to see right away along the promenade and everything, all the way up to the Blackpool Tower. But yeah, Icon's by far the best ride here still. I, I agree with that. The thing about... So we went on the big one twice today, which was amazing. Um, the first time it hurt a, a lot. It wasn't as, uh, as rough as the second time. It was just the rain hitting your face. But then the second time we went on, no rain, but extremely rough. Yeah, um, it's like getting Somehow. hit in the face with loads of tiny pinpricks constantly um, with the way the, the rain was coming down and things on there. Um, but yeah, overall, really good day. Um, a lot of the rides run really well, nice and smooth, even if we did get soaked twice. The drop tower wasn't really open, was it? Yeah. We, we haven't did... got a lot of off-ride footage, if that's it, because it was just the bad weather. Yeah, we weren't able to film too much. Mm. Um, we did get some shots of... Uh, some of the rides going around in the dark and things like that. Um, a little bit later on, the lights weren't working on the trains for Icon. So yeah. that was a bit strange and a bit, a bit disappointing. But um, We saw them. Yeah. As we mentioned earlier, um, we did come back to the hotel room during the middle of the day because of how bad Pumpkin. the weather got. And we could see out the window as to whether the big one was going or not. So I'll show you guys out the window so you can see what our view is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so lighting's not the best because there is uh, some rather bright floodlights over there. But um, yeah, from our hotel window, we can see right down to the Pleasure Beach Resort entrance. And the big one, the top of the flying machines, and also Ice Blast mm -hmm. as well. So yeah, we could stay here nice and warm and see when the rides were working. Yeah, and also my favourite light probably in the Pleasure Beach is... Icons one, and I really like the flying machines because it's got a little. It's it's much more vibrant and looks a lot better off camera. And also, if you don't know what that red thing is. It there's the big dipper. It's not at the top of the tower. Tower? Where did I get tower from? Not top of the big one, but yeah. So you can see the big yeah, dipper there. That. If you don't know the big that, one just in the background behind. Yeah. So yeah. If you don't know what them red lights are on the drop tower and the big one, it's just because there's an air bunny but We don't want any planes crashing yeah so some lights at the top just um to warn aircraft yeah so we couldn't have asked for a better view to be honest out of the room so yeah, yeah it might really be good third floor, but we've got lift so yeah thank you so go on then Katie. what colors your mood ring so i don't know but it, it's like a, a deep purple but it's like a bluish purple so i would maybe say relaxed yeah relaxed or cool I think would uh, go with for kids. Yeah, relax are cool. Yeah. Because I'm cool. Yeah. And uh, on that note, I think we're going to wrap up this vlog. So, yeah, mm -hmm. really good day. Highly recommend coming to Blackpool, even if the weather's not the best. Um, Stay in the hotel. Yeah. Um, like I say, it was really good today, especially with it being open 10 till 10. It did give us that chance that we could leave the park and come back in later on. So, really good. This is also the probably not busiest time we've been out of the year the other year or the year all the times we went this year the other two times eh it was a little bit on the busy side yeah so again with the way the weather was queues were really small um, so yeah there's not that much Halloween wise around um, I'd say last year they did have a sort of a major scare attraction here which they couldn't do this year because of social distancing and things oh, no, no, no. Uh, but the decorations around the, park, uh, around the park were really good um, and then there was also, I don't know how well the videos come out for that but uh, there was that werewolf that was uh, dancing around and uh, Trying to kill people. interacting with uh, some of the people in the crowd there as well which yeah. was really good Not so, going to lie, if it would chase me I'd run to um, 
infusion because it was right next to me and hopefully like right next to us the entrance and hopefully you couldn't get down the stairs Tee. Yeah, um, Katie was uh, set to run away if it came anywhere near her. <laughs> Can't blame it, to be honest. Bye. It was quite big and scary. But uh, yeah, it was re- really good that they got something like that on. Um, you know, especially even with the weather where there was. But um, yeah, tomorrow we are going to have a little bit of a look around Spinner. the rest of Blackpool and also <laughs> some of the illuminations that are on. The way he said Blackpool. Blackpool. I'm dying. But um, yeah, we'll Don't have a don't start with dummy though. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. In the car on the way over, we were listening to the Harry Potter Dumbly audiobooks. Dumbly door. And uh, the way Madame Maxine says, yeah, Dumbly door. Yeah, Goblet of Fire ages ago, but yeah. Dumbly door. Really good. Anyway, we're getting a little bit distracted. <laughs> so, yeah, tomorrow we are going to have a look around Blackpool and have a look at some of the illuminations. And depending on the weather, hopefully get on some of the rides on some of the piers. So, make sure you subscribe. And we'll get that video <laughs> uploaded as soon as we can. So, that's going to be a bye from me. Say bye, Kelly. Bye, Kelly.